Hello again everyone, I'm Jir, and this is episode 2 of the Minecraft Hour. I'm back here on the Minecraft Workbench server, and I'm back at something you should all recognize, my redstone clock. I've done a bit of work to it, all the numbers are now correctly displaying, uh, the timing is just a bit better, and I've installed a reset function. So after 12 o'clock, it automatically resets back to 1, instead of counting up to 15. But I'm not here to show you the clock right now, I'm here to show you what I've built on top of the clock, which is my giant game board for tic-tac-toe. Um, the original plan had been to show you sort of step by step what I was doing, so you could follow along. But this thing just went up so fast after I'd done the video for the clock, this was honestly, this was finished the day after. But I'm going to show you now a quick overview of what it does and how to play it. So I've built this tower here. You just walk up. It's quite a long way up, really. I suppose I could have used my compass. That's okay. Um, you get up here, here's the lobby, there's some rules, there's a reset button. You always have to hit that before you play, and I have my compass out. I shouldn't, there we go. So you hit that, it resets the board to blank, and instead of doing X's and O's, which are rather complicated and large for wiring, I've done diamonds and squares, so I'll just step in here, this is the playing room for diamonds, diamonds is blue on the top there there's a scoreboard I'll get back to that afterwards but I'm just gonna hit a few hit that button and there you go not too much delay and there's a diamond I'll come over here and hit this one let's say and there we go step over here to squares uh, it's the same thing. Squares is red. And see, there's really no delay on this. Um, and there's a square. Uh, wiring this was actually quite a bit simpler than the clock. Um, I'll just hop up here and give you a look. So all of the these uh, pink wool, all this pink wool is the input for the buttons and the buttons control is nine vertical RS nor latches. I've never used them before but I think they're my favorite thing to use for memory now. They're really pretty simple. So you hit the button and the current reverses and then there's nine inputs which all go up to the display uh, it's the same thing over on the blue side, I've color-coded it. Um, there the light blue is the button inputs, go through the memory, and up the green into the display. So I'll give you now a quick look of the displays. There's nine cells, each cell is just this thing here. On the bottom you have the input for diamond, and on the top you have the input for square. So the top ones I'll go over to that side, and the diamond ones, I'll go over to that side. Um, and like I said, there's nine of these, one through nine, three different layers. And those are the displays. So what I'm working on now, if you come over here, um, I have a collection of AND gates. And what this is going to do is they're all linked to the display wiring. So if, say, you get three in a row, um, let's say these three, the seven, eight, and nine, um, all these will turn on, and this torch will turn on, and this torch will turn on, which comes around here, and goes up this red path to the scoreboard. Uh, the scoreboard's a work in progress. Right now it only shows when someone has won. And it only shows when someone has won in any three horizontal rows for diamonds and squares. So if you've won three in a row vertically, it's not going to show anything. If you've won three in a row diagonally, it's not going to show anything. 
just if you win horizontally. Um, I will add the extra functionality, it just, it's really, it's a big wiring process. So on the top there, all the torches are off, but if I hit these two for diamonds, Now the player is one horizontally, and if you look on the top, uh, those three torches are on, and the idea is, once I wire it, and once I add some memory, the first one will turn on when you win, the second one will turn on, the third one will turn on, best two out of three year games between the two or whatever, and then the board will automatically reset. Or, you can come over here and hit the reset button, and as you can see, the board just automatically resets. So that's what I wanted to show you this episode, and I'm not sure, I don't have a plan for what's going to be on the next, but here's my clock, and above it, my tic-tac-toe board made of redstone. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.